welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be discussing Peterborough United's Round 1 Carabao Cup tie between Plymouth Argyle, going through the key action and uh, seeing how Posh got on. And we'll briefly be discussing how Derby County got on in their tie against Salford City as Posh and Derby clash on Saturday lunchtime. So let's crack on with the video and look at how Posh fared against Plymouth Argyle in the Round 1 of the Carabao Cup. So let's talk about the game itself then, so Posh versus Plymouth. Um, Peterborough crash out of round one of the Carabao Cup with a 4-0 home defeat to Plymouth. Um, Posh were poor all over the park, if I'm honest. Um, Plymouth deserved it, they were up for the game, they wanted to prove, um, prove themselves after losing 2-0 to Rotherham That's on Saturday. Posh, I was expecting to bounce back and try and show again what they can do after their 3-0 defeat to Luton. No, Posh didn't do that at all. Um, Plymouth were, were all over from start to finish and they were brilliant. Plymouth, they were really, really good. I wish them all the best this season in League One because if you play like that against most of your teams, you're going to do very well. A um, bit worrying, if I'm honest, from a Posh point of view, from a fan's point of view. Um, seven goals conceded and zero scored in two games is very worrying. Um, hopefully Fergie has got a plan to try and sort this out because I know it's only two games in. And people probably will think I'm a bit critical, but um, seven goals to concede and zero scored is a bit is very worrying because it means your defence and midfield are not strong to uh, keep keep goals keep goals out. Um, but yeah, overall in terms of the game, Posh weren't in it as I said. Um, Hardy scored two goals, Jepcott with one, and Kamara with the fourth, um, and for killer goal for Plymouth. Um, they deserved it. We didn't deserve anything from it um, in some respects. If we can focus on the league and not have to focus on another cup, but uh, it would be nice to have got into the second round and tried to progress a bit further in this season because the um, last couple of years we haven't really progressed much in the cups. And um, But <sighs> championship football is going to be hard as it is, so in some respects I'm kind of glad we're not going into the second round. Um, it's an extra game we haven't got to put onto our schedule. Um, but... Disappointing all round, Plymouth deserved it, and um, yeah, that's all I can really sum up for you. Not much you can really sum up from a posh point of view. Um, a few we said a lot of rotation in the side. Randall made his debut, Poku made his debut. Um, we have signed Norburn, Oli Norburn from Shrewsbury today, so hopefully that can bring a bit more experience possibly into midfield because he's a decent player. He's played a lot of clubs and um, he's got some good experience in that area of the field so we'll see if he comes in and can cause um kind of kicks kick start Posh's midfield this season um with Grant and Knight and Taylor as well. Um but that's it in terms of the game in hand and uh Saturday's game will be interesting. Um very interesting I think from uh, that point of view Derby drawing three three with uh, Salford so um they'll be up for the game on Saturday. Um so yeah, overall, disappointing night for Posh, um, but we move on and go ahead to Saturday against Derby County. So that's the end of this video. Disappointing night for Peterborough United, losing 4-0 to Plymouth. We move on Saturday as we take on Derby County. Join me on my channel as I'll be going through how Derby will get on and how Posh will get on in this game and uh, doing match predictions, etc. on how both sides will fare in front of the telly at 12.30 on Saturday lunchtime. Once again, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you very soon.